Jean Piaget studied the cognitive development of children through observation of young children, and this began with his own children. He documented their every step, every stage, every move, um, along with his wife. And through these studies of young children, he began to uh, create a theory that explained how children learn through constructing their own knowledge um, through experiences. Basically how this works is children create, um, have experiences, and through these experiences, they create schema. And this is the organization of the file folders in your brain is how I kind of think of it. Every time you have an experience, a file folder goes into your brain, almost like a file on a computer. And when you encounter that schema again, you have to adapt it because every experience is unique in our life. And so every time a child goes through an experience and they open their file folder of schema, they have to do two things to it. They either have to assimilate, which means that they're going to kind of gain a connection to the schema that's in there, and it becomes part of that schema. So they draw it in and they plop it in the folder that's already there. Or they accommodate. And this means the information in the little file folder isn't the same, and they have to create a new folder. And every experience is either going to add to a file folder or create a new file folder in our brain. And this is how children learn. And this is um, really different than how we looked at learning up to this point. Up to this point, we thought children learn because we told them things. But we found that through the cognitive constructivist theory, um, children learn through figuring things out on their own more than being told things. And so we have to get them to create the file folders for their experiences. And the implications for the teaching are that children must really be engaged in their environment and the experiences to build schema. So if we're constantly just telling them things, they're not making file folders because there's no connection. And so we need to, instead of tell them things, we need to set the environment up for them to explore and figure the things out on their own. Now, this isn't a free-for-all, but basically the teacher is the facilitator and setting up the play center or the experiment or the game or the activity um, for them to discover the learning um, content on their own, even though we essentially, um, there's no other way that they could, um, try. it's hard to explain. Basically, we set up the environment and the activity that it's, it's fail-proof. If you do what we give them, think about your lesson plans. If we design a lesson, they're going to come out on the other side with the information. But we don't have to tell it to them. They have to interact with it. So our job as teachers is to set up the experiences and lessons that they can begin to develop their own file folders. And then every time they open up a new folder in their brain, They'll either add more information in or they'll create a new file folder of new information. And this is the constructivist part of Piaget's theory.